we want to form an image in the air, not in glass. So that Cartesian ovoid I described would make a very beautiful little image inside the glass. That's not what we want. So let's imagine instead we have an optical axis with some object point, light is coming off, and the way we'll get it in the air is to have the front surface of the lens be something that makes the light rays go parallel like that. Just the right curvature on the front to make all those refractions happen to make the light parallel. And then what we'll do is put the exact same curvature on the back. So when these rays come here, they'll all refract again in a way that will bring them to the image point like that. So we can make this happen in the air by relying on both the front surface and the back surface of the lens to have this property. So what surface does this? This is a hyperbolic surface, a hyperboloid. So you might think this is a good way to make a lens because we can have some light come and have it focus. And if we had an object here, soon we'll be ray tracing and imagining uh, if you have an object with an extended object making little points of light, they'll all come together and make an image. Well, there's a problem with a hyperbolic surface like this. It's only perfect at point O i. So if you work through the math of why it's a hyperbolic surface, which we're not going to do, what you'll find is the geometry that makes this happen is actually specific to this one point. Now when you move away, it still kind of works. It's just not perfect. It's not a perfect imager. And uh, another issue is that it is difficult to grind. I've never had the pleasure of grinding a lens myself, but I'm told it's much easier to grind a spherical surface than to grind a hyperbolic surface. So basically, these are kind of hard to make. Doesn't mean we can't make them, doesn't mean people don't make them, doesn't mean people don't use them, but um, if the lens isn't perfect anyway, because what you find is there is no perfect lens. Right? There's no geometry that's going to make this happen for every point in space that you have a point source of light, it's going to make a point source image. No geometry really does it. So since all lens are messed up anyway, they are, they, since the lens isn't perfect anyway, go with a sphere because it is easier to make. This is the optical compromise uh, that we go with. So we're going to do our calculations of how a lens works, not on a Cartesian ovoid, not on a hyperboloid, but uh, on just a spherical curve, and we'll deal with the aberrations later.